Right then, welcome back to the second part of this. As you've seen before, I've painted all the details. Now this is all the parts. And you have a look. All the small parts at the front. As you, I'm holding the camera in my hand because there's no point putting it on the tripod because you wouldn't see anything. There's all the plates, there's the firemen, there's the cogs, sleeves, screws, aerial, ladders, the lot, everything. So how we're going to deal with this, we're going to do the cab first, assemble all that so that's all finished and out of the way, and then we'll concentrate on the back half, the trailer half. Okay? All right, now, obviously, I haven't had a dry run on this one. One or two bits I've fiddled about with. I've, um, so it's all going to be off the cuff, mate. See how we get on with it. Okay, so bear with me. Might be a few fiddly bits going on. So, just cast your feast your eyes over that little lot. Okay, hopefully it'll turn out nice. I've got the decals there in the background there. They came from Black Square. They came yesterday with a load of other decals that I ordered. So, that finishes it off nicely. Okay, see you in a minute. I'm going to clear some of this away so we can uh, concentrate on one thing at a time. Okay, let's stop faffing about and get this done. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Right, we've got to get this window unit in first. Now, I've already put the headlight, dual headlights back in. They just push in, okay? Now, we've got to get this windscreen sitting in there. Because that has to go... That slot has to line up with that slot. Which in turn goes over, in fact, we'll take that, we'll do it this way around. This has got a push in with the headlights. Line it up. There we go. That's it, pushed in there. That has to going over that slot there, you see that peg? Now we just push that down some more, make sure it's right in. Check that side. There's a little bit of a lump to get it in on that side. Okay, so they're both in. Now the windscreen has to go in the same. You don't have to glue this or anything. It should just sit in here. It might get a few finger marks on it so I'm finished. But it will clean. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Right, that's pushed in. Okay, so that's the windscreen in. Now the tricky bit is getting the crew and this back in. Now, what I think you've got to do... This dashboard has got to sit on top of that lug. All right, so I think you've got to find, you've got to get it underneath there. And jiggly poker it somehow. I did put the guys in first. Oh, there you go. And then push it up. So it fits and clicks and pushes right up like so, okay? So there you go, they're in. All right. Then it's this plate. And what I found with this plate, there's a bit of flash on there, so I just smoothed it off. Makes it fit easier. Now this aerial has to go from the underside like so. Okay, and then you click it underneath there, push it down. All right, and this is going to be super duper under here because there's not a lot of room for riveting, so we'll super duper that. Okay. All right. 
Alrighty, so so far so good. I'll put the I'll put this in here. This this sits over there, facing that way down. If you can have a look, that's where that fits in. All right, so I'll fit in. So where your draw bar or whatever it is clicks into there. All right. So next step then, I'm going to put my two fingers underneath the to hold the floor. And these little fellas, I haven't painted these, all I did was pop, polish them up. And these little fellas should fit in there. Just one. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Now look what I've done, I've broke that off. Okay, I'll have to re-glue re that. No worries, it's all it's all good. It's all good. Turn the area around. It's all good. I'll get it all done. I'll put the base on and I'll put that back on so it can be left to dry. Alright. So there's the front. There is a decal what goes on there. Well we can do that later. When we're doing all the decals. So now it's base plate time. I'll hold it like so. Painted the bell, a brass of goldy type of thing. So this fits over those two front lugs. There and there. Over there. And like I said previously, I want to put a glue on there. Make sure before we glue it that everything's okay. That's fine. There you go. If you notice, I've also painted the tops of these fire extinguishers. I give them a little black pipe down the side, just a, just a bit extra detail. All right, I'll put some super duper on here. Get a nice bit on there. Okay, I'm gonna leave that to set. I'll put a little bit on the front here. Because we don't really want it coming apart, do we? Alright. So, that's the tractor unit done. I'll put it over out the way. And I'll glue this piece on in a momento. Alright. Next up is the trailer. We get all the bits out. Next part then. Well, I've already glued that plate on there because I needed to stay on plate. Okay. Um, this is a bit trickier, this bit. You've got to get uh, the procedure right. This has got to go in first. Oh no, let's put this. Let's put the steering, the steering wheel in the back. And the glass in now with this one you need the steering box in first facing up that way so it's upright got to get it in in there so we try and get it in it's a bit fiddly it's got to go in and and hook in it is a bit fiddly I did do a dry run on this one. Yeah, that has to go in. This way, tell her on. That way. That way around. Uh, okay. And what happens is the window, when you put the window unit in, this one, with the fat piece sticking to the top, this side, that will, in all to intention and purposes, hopefully. Like I said, this is the fiddly bit. This is a, a job to get this out, and I've a job to get it back in. The window has to fit. Oh my 
now just trying to get this right without getting my fingers in the way so you can see push it down no it's not right here somewhere something's not right Like I say, this is a this is a fiddly bit. Now, if you see on the outside of the window, you've got a little rebate where your fat piece at your bottom, your fat lug at the bottom there, goes on the inside against the steering box, and the glass goes on the rebate. That's how it goes, and then it pushes all push. Ah, there you go. It pushes all all pushes down and pushes it together like so so you end up there like that so your steering box if you can see there it's like that you've got your rebates on the outside of your glass where the outside of the glass goes there the, the uh, large piece of glass that sticks out that goes in between the steering box and the metal you push it down and it brings it like that now this is the man that I carved out of the other set of three, so I'm hoping he will. Yeah, he'll go in there nicely. Look at that, look. So he'll go in there nicely. So he needs a bit of super, Danny, on his bum. So we'll stick a bit of super on his bum. We don't want him to keep falling out and losing him, do we? So that's a little thing. If you've got a couple of these. You can take one of those drivers. I know the original one has got his hand up in the air. But, you know, he's obviously a cocky driver. So we'll have this guy who's more cautious. He's got both hands on the wheel. Okay. So that's that bit. This piece goes underneath and towards the back. Now, when you look at it, there's only one way, see that's the wrong way because it's supposed to bridge there so you need to turn it round get it out once you've got it in so it faces the three rungs are at the back I think, hold on, get it right, hold on no just check the other one, make sure I've got it right. No, tell a light. The three rungs there at the front. So it goes that way around. Okay. So that sits in that way around. So the three rungs at the front so open at the back. And that's just that's just sitting in there at a the minute. Like so. Alright. So you the cross beams all line up. Alright. Now the next bit is you have to put this piece this piece has to go on this piece okay or else it won't go in it won't go in there if you don't so you need to put that round there you've got your two lugs here they go into that slot down there like so Okay, so that sits like that. Okay. So it's just basically put the slots in, put that in like that. So that's how that sits, like that. Then, we really need about three pairs of rounds. Then you have to have, if you turn it up the other way, without it all falling off, it will if you're not careful turn it up that way you have this piece it goes in all right there's the hole fits on that hole there like so all right i think we can gently lay that down for a minute then you're your outlets or whatever they call them I think goes on there 
like that. Now, on this piece, you need these, these, these in. They've got twist pieces. They just sit in there. Okay. So that might be favourite to take that out and just lay it over the top like that over the hole because you need to hook this piece this piece here with the two hooks on has to go in in them in there like that yeah so hopefully he doesn't all fall apart when i'm doing this get it in the right position best for you and then as you can see hook that underneath there and it should we get it right like I say it's not the easiest thing to do got it you hook it right then you can line that up So it is, it is a bit tricky this, to be honest with you. I want to hold this together and just try and without them, get that lined up in there. There's probably an easier way than doing it than this, but that's fell out now, look. I'll try and Lift it up some more and slide that underneath. See what I'm doing. I suppose I could glue that, I suppose, couldn't I, really? And hold it like that. Stick that underneath there like that. That in. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Right. Let's try and get it down there and put these back in. Everything's slipping about, boys. Everything's slipping about. That's one. Try not to let go of that middle bit there. In hindsight, I should have glued it, shouldn't I? Still not sitting right, is it? It's not going down at the minute. Something's not lining up right somewhere along the line. Oh, here we go, let's take it apart. That's that, that's that. That's that, that's that, okay. The trials and tribulations of a restorer. I would imagine there's people out there who've done this a few times. So I reckon I should put a bit of blob of the old super duper on there this time, I think. Okay. Get that to hold that in. Just rest it there for a minute while it's drying. Yeah, these can be uh, a bit tricky. These ones here. 
because I've got a twist on them if you look and that you see as you twist it it's coming out it should end up like that because they rest on there okay right because that's a lot easier to rest on there this is what we're aiming for right okay let's try it again oops what that come on out do we let's try it again and again and again and again Hook them two under the back there. Drop it down over there. Oh. Make sure these are sitting in there okay. That's got it. There we go. There you go. That's in. That's in. Make sure these are operating. Pull out. Put back in. Pull out. Put back in. Right, so that's that, that's that. So I'm just going to put a, a bit more to hold it here. I know it's all super duper, but sometimes the needs must. Alrighty. Okie dokie. So there, in fact, that's the back half done. We're all singing, all dancing. So that's the back half. And when we're finished, we'll have the front half on. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We are getting there. So I'll let this dry off a little bit. There. And the next stage is going to be the turntable. We're going to have to do this turntable. So I'm going to have a cup of tea. Before I start this. Because this again is going to be fiddly. Getting all this to work. And make sure I've got all the parts that I need. Which are here. There's a lot of them. Because we're not gonna, what we're gonna do, I keep pulling parts out, and I keep pulling parts out, and there's loads, flipping loads. Right, so what the, what the plan is, now we've got the back half done, we've done the tractor unit at the front. I'm gonna do this turntable set up, attach this ladder, but I'm not gonna attach this to that until I've strung this ladder because it'd be easier and I can't string the ladder until I put all this turntable together if you see what I mean so I had to put all that together first then I've got to string the ladder and then we can put it onto there because otherwise you try doing it while it's on there you're going to get yourself in a right mess so I'm going to have a drink me brew have a minute and then we'll get back on it Okay, we're back. We've had a cup of tea, that's the sandwich, um, and then we're on the go. So what I'm going to do this time, instead of putting the whole turntable together, just been thinking about it, if I can get it into this position, with all these gubbins on here, then I can thread this easier without having all that turntable piece on the bottom. This is all collapsing. So in order to do that, we need to put this sleeve from there, push it right in and locate it, ladder upside down, this needs to be on this side, we need to put that part of the uh, hydraulics under there, and this tab 
will fit underneath there like so. Yeah, yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just trying to work it out. I thought it was going to fit then. Like so. Okay. So when you turn it around, the right way up, you've got the, the ladder mechanism there. That is on the top, as it should be. Where did it go? There it is. Yep. And that clicked under there. That's how it should be, like so. Okay. Right, so we get some super on here. I oh know it's a super glue again, but I'm afraid it has to be because there's not enough room to dive in with rivets. We'll put a good bit on there. Make sure it's pushed right down as far as you can get it. Which it is. And that's in there, so we'll leave that for a second. Over there. Now this piece We'll have a look at turntable. We have to put uh, where is it? This piece has to go underneath, push up from underneath. All right, this piece sits there. Your turntable. Oh, I said, tell you, you shouldn't have had that cup of tea. I don't know what was in it. Drop that in there like that. And your turntable goes on. Trying to hold it in the right place. To, yeah, try and hold it there. There. Locate it, move it around. Locate it in the right place. So you end up with it like this. That at the, this end. That there, that there. Okay. So then again now. Put a drop of the super on it. Drop there. And drop there. This is quite thin, so it'll run down on the inside. That's the, that's the name of the game on this one. So that's that bit then. In there. So that's that, that, that. These will go on last. That'll go on last. So this now should be set. So that's to wind your string up. That allows you movement so what we can do now with this is we can uh, either get my missus to have a go at doing this because i can be totally rubbish at this all right i did download a um a map and i think we just have to show you this because i've got it i've got i've got it on my tablet rather than my my thing all right, let me just show you this. I shouldn't be showing you this really because it's not really. That's the map. All right, I'll probably get in trouble now because they're doing this. But yeah, that's the, the drawing I'm going to be going by. Okay. So. 
Yeah, we'll get, if you want to pause that and have a look. Don't tell anybody I've done this. Okay. That's what I'll be using to string that, to help me along. Right, so this is drying now. So in that position there. Okay. I'll leave that dry a bit more because it's still a bit tacky. And then we'll come along and we'll finish. When that glue's gone off, we'll fit these here. And they all, they'll, they'll all go on on this piece here. All right. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that it will work. This is a major, serious, flipping trouble threading this ladder. Really, really, really is a trouble. I've been taking ages for me to do this, hours and hours and hours, and I still can't get it right. I get it half right, but not fully right. I get it to go up and down. It's a bit sticky, but it does work. It's triple ladder. It's all to do with pulleys and things, and I'm not really that... My brain's not geared up for all that. And even looking at the instructions that I showed you earlier, it wasn't very clear. Now, the problem is this string attaching here and going to the top to extend this last piece. Yeah, it's, I've, I don't know if you can see it, but I have strung it up. But it's a, a, it's a major problem. My friend was here last night for three or four hours getting this and trying it and getting it and trying it. We got it half right and then it didn't work and then it snapped and then we re-threaded it and then it wouldn't work again and it was such a problem. Really is. I mean, to some people it might be easy, but seriously, it's a, it was a problem. So what I'm going to have to do is, like I say, it goes just as, you know, up to a point, we got it working, but then it's just... That last section, we can get it to come, to extend and come down, but we can't get this last piece to come up, yeah? And so what we've done, we're going to do it, now I'm trying to do it again, it's, it's a bit sticky. So what I'm going to do, for the sake of this video, is I'm going to put it all together, and then I'm going to revisit this at a later date, and when I've got it, and I've got it working, because it's going to take a while, I'll get it working, and then I'll do a short video on how we did it, okay? I think that's the only way I can do it. I mean, this video was postponed from last week to this week. You've already seen, those who've watched have probably already seen part one I put up this morning, because um, I was still trying to work on this. So um, apologies for that, apologies for not getting it to work properly. But it's one of them things that it's just so fiddly and, and from my hands and trying to tie little knots and my friend was struggling with little knots and, you know, we were using tweezers and all sorts and really, really struggling with this. I mean, once you've done it once and you know how to do it, then it's plain sailing, but trying to work it out and do it and try to tie knots and it's slipping and not working properly so anyway enough of that so i'm going to put it all together now at least half of it works and i can assure you when i got it worked got it working i will do a short 10 minute video at a later date and how and how i've done it so the main thing is the whole thing is restored and obviously not back to work in order but three quarters of the way so bear with me when we get this sorted and we'll do a video because it's so frustrating that you get to a point and you just you just your brain goes foggy and you get to the point where you've had enough and i need to just take a step back and rethink it and do it all again okay but i just want to get this video out there give me a break and uh revisit it later so anyway get on what we have to do now to put this back together 
you've got your turntable, keeping that to the left side. And these with the big tubes at the top. And you put this on through there. I'm just hoping now I don't get any more aggro with this because it has been a bit of a pain. And that fits like so. So, and then there's the locating hole there. Has to go in that there and there. Okay. So before you do that, you need to get this this cog and drop it in there somewhere like that and bring that onto it and manoeuvre that into a position where you can feed the pin through which is not that easy because you've got all these things in the way you've got this in the way so you're going to try and get this in Where's my tweezers gone? Yeah. Trying to get this in. No, I just missed it. I'm fiddling about here trying to get this pin in there. How these girls at the factory did it, I'll never know, because I tell you what, they must have really, really known what they were doing. I mean, I bet they dreaded when this job came up. I bet they really did. And that should, in all intents and purposes, go through here. I mean, I will admit, I did have it going through once before. It's not that easy to get it in. Because of this. That's all gone cute, skew with now. Let me try from the other end. It might be easy from the other end. Hey, 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 hey. You can probably tell by my voice I've just had enough of this now. It's not often that I say things like that because I love doing these things. But there comes a point where you think, you know, I just want it to end. I'll lift that cog up a bit. So I have my fingers are getting in the way, but I'm just trying to squeeze that in there. It's just a pain in the backside. There he is. No fancy editing here. Chaps, no fancy editing here. I'm struggling, and you're seeing me watching me struggle. So close. So close and yet so far. Where are we? In this hole, here, aren't we? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby.
This is coming up pain. Come on. So close when it's come out again now. See, I would try and do it with that cock out, but I don't think it's going to work. So close and yet so far. Excuse me, I'm sure I'll lay that down there a second. That's come out of there now. Right, okay. Enough faffing about on here. I'll get this pin out of here. Eleven minutes. Let's just try some of it here and pull that out. It might work and it might not. We'll see. Let's see if we can get this to go through here without that cogging. On through there, right? That's pins in there now. Now, I don't know whether we'll be able to get this cog in or not. This is the problem we have here. If we can't get this cog in, we've got to do it the other way around. Right, I think the cog's in now. Is it in a good position? It seems to be. Right, okay. It's got a pin in. And that's in run right through there. Now we've got to put this on. And it goes on. Try so you've got to get a bite on that there. And then in theory this should. It should lift. It's difficult to do it without the cap on. I don't want to glue the cap on. I don't think that's quite buying. I'll just get into a oh come on. It wants to go, let's get it up a bit more and then Not meshing with that one in there. That's what I said. Let's get up a bit more and see. I mean, it looks like it's meshing in there. The pin's in straight. That's in straight. I need to get this in. So it meshes with that gear there. Seems to be going backwards. Not forwards. So what does that mean then? That 
save. What's going up there? It's not seem to be staying up very well. It's slipping. So I'm out. I need this, don't I? Eh? I flipping need this. Okay, give me a minute. Done it. The thing was, I had to get this cap on to hold this cog down to mesh properly. Now, obviously, these are quite old and the gears are quite worn, but I managed to get it to go. You have to sort of give it a little bit of a welly, but it does work. It's going up now. I've cleaned the gears out best I can. But the glue's not dry. But it's working anyway. When the glue's dry, you'll see it better. But I thought I'd just show you. Give that glue a bit more time to dry. But it, yeah, essentially it's working. Yeah, these old, these old things when you're using original parts, they are quite worn. The holes are worn, the cogs are worn. You know, I did clean them up and file them round, but if you file them too much, then you lose it completely, and I didn't want to do that. So I'm gonna let that glue dry for a good ten minutes, and then we'll come back. And it's a matter of them putting all this back on here. Yeah. Okay. So give me a second, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, it is worn. So you have to push the cog in and get it to go up like that. You have to push it in. It's going up. As you can see. It's going up, look. And I must admit, I'm not entirely happy with it, but there you go. So we got that. We got the ladder coming out. Excuse about the light, because the sun's shining through the window. If I, I might be able to block it off. Wait a second. Let's see if it makes a bit of difference. Might make a bit of difference to put the net across. Right, so we got to this stage. Make sure that's on there. It has to go. Okay. These all have to be pushed in so it sits in like that. So now we've got to that stage, we've got it to lift. We've got some sort of ladder action going on. Now we've got to get it back together on there. So now you do that, shift these spare ladders out. You've got this piece, which has got the slots in. That goes over there and get it on your slots, like so. Uh, yeah, I think that goes in, in there, and get that to go in there. Pretty sure that's how it goes. So that's on there like so. And then we have the collar, black collar, that goes on there. 
And then we have Then we have this piece. It goes on like so. Yeah, so that's did you see that? You put your part oh, I know the light shining wrong. So then you put your black collar on there. Then you put that on the top there. And then your screw goes in there. Okay. And then you screw it up. I'm trying to find the old thread, the original thread. Oh. So this is the way it's going for me at the minute. This is the way it's going for me at the minute. This is certainly... Uh, Tested my patience. Oh, you know why? Because I'm doing it wrong handed. I'm left handed and not right handed. And I'm trying to do it that way around. Well, at least you'll get some amusement out of it. And those of you who fast forwarded it to the end, I don't blame you. I really don't blame you. I'm just trying to fill away for the thread. It's got it. Yeah, that's moving. So that's how that goes. So then, that should essentially click into there. They are, a hey, presto. These ladders, that should just pull out again as well. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Can't spit tight, innit? I perhaps need to loosen that a little bit. Or tighten it, loosen it, one or the other. And then these ladders, they slot in the back here. I don't know which way they would go. I'm gonna put two in because that one that one's broken. So here's the extendable ladders, they're in there. Okay, so they used to sit in the back there. So when you've got your jacks down, one, two, and you've got your jacks down. There you go. Alright, now we shall try and see is the best way to do it. We're on camera, I'm trying to do this so you can see it on camera. You should be able to. You need to give this a bit of a, a head start. There you go, it's coming up. There you go. It's coming up. Right, well, that's up, and then you can... We know the ladder's not great. So I'll bring this back a little bit so you can... You can see some of it going on. It's a bit awkward, this, isn't it? We just... I know it's a bit faffing about it, chap, but I need to. And then you can extend the ladder. Give it a bit of a, a push. It's flopping about a bit. 
So I need to do that screw up a bit tighter, I think, underneath. I think I need to do that screw up underneath there a bit tighter. It seems to be flopping about a bit here. That's a bit better. Yeah, so... We're going up, anyway. And then... The ladder seems to have got stuff stuck. A little bit. See what I mean? It's all a bit of a going all Pete Tong at the minute. The ladder seems to get jammed part way. Oh, come on. He was working a minute ago. There you go. It's going up now. I think I've got the knot is catching on. I've got a knot here and it's catching. You've got to hold this as well. Oh, so wait a bit. If you don't if you don't hold this side, the weight of it pulls it down. This goes to show how worn these gears are. Get the ladder back down again. Get the ladder down again. Jack's falling down. That's it. That's a go. And then we can go. Then we can go down. So. That fits in there like that. Not entirely happy with this, I must admit. This needs... The gears are not meshing correctly because they're worn. This one in particular here. There. Because this, this part that you'll see often see when you buy these second hand. This is why this is broken in here. Because it takes a lot. I mean, it's not a massive ladder. But... It's a lot of weight because this is the bottom pieces of metal and there's a lot of plastic on there and it puts a lot of tension on here and you often see that that gear slipping and breaking so that's a problem there so we need to address i'm going to see if i can find another one of these which has got a better gear mesh because they are quite cheap on ebay to buy these and you'll see because that see that's in there a lot i didn't realize it was as bad as that to be honest with you once you remove that cap there which holds it all in place that becomes a bit stroppy but anyway then you put your put your thing back on there put your jacks back in i saw the cameras bounce a bit because i'm on a different table it's not very solid Put your jacks back in, and there you go, it's all done. Well, like I say, a bit of a mash up this video, I'm afraid. But at this moment in time, until I revisit this stringing of the ladder, we've got a problem. I could only have, I mean, out of three fire engines, I could only get there was only one cog here, so I had three of these, and they were all in various states of dilapidation but there was only one of them had this cog that's the cog that's the problem that one there so I'll keep looking and I'll see if I can find a new cog or I might actually if I can find one with a turntable complete with a working ladder then I might take this turntable off and put that one on but I'll let you know the progress. Seriously, I will revisit this video again of an update on the stringing of this and whether or not I've got another turntable. Okay?
that's what I'll do. Because if I get another turntable and the ladder's working and it's not in too bad condition, I won't be taking this apart. So if you've got a, got one of these and you want to restore it, yeah, extend the ladder out, clean it all and what have you. But try and take the turntable off by all means with a screw underneath, but try and avoid taking this apart. So I would class this video as a fail, to be honest with you. As you can tell, I'm not happy about it, but it's a fail. But, you know, you've got to, in this name name of the game, you've got to do, you, you know, you've got to show your fails as well as, as your good ones. You can't all produce good ones. You know, it's just how it goes sometimes. So you, you guys watch me a lot. You're entitled to um, see the fails as well as the good ones. And this is, as far as I'm concerned, a fail. But yeah, I think I'm going to be looking for another one of these with a turntable. Because you can just get the back half. You don't have to, you don't always get the front half. You can find the back half. And if the ladder's working, then I won't need to take any of this apart. I'll just clean it up and put this on, put that on here. Because essentially, this was made out of three fire engines anyway. So, enough of that. Enough, enough excuses, enough waffling. It is what it is. So, let me just get the camera off here, and you can have a look, better look at it. The lighting's not great in here. So give me a second, I'm going to go into the other room, I'll put it on the table, and you can see it better. This is what we started with. A couple of uh, Gorgi Major La France fire engines. So now in a bit of a scruffy condition so now you can have a look and see how I've done and what it looks like now have a look at this okay have a little mosey around here then and see what we got yeah essentially it came out all right paint wise decal wise and everything else but unfortunately with the lift and stuff, it's the, oh, the camera's playing up as well now. Look. Yeah. It's a man in the back with a window. And I had a subscriber who asked in the comments how I got this little window out the back here. You have to take the steering wheel out at the base, pop that steering wheel out first, and then there's a little push clip at the bottom of the glass. You just pull it and lifts out. But be careful, because it will break. Okay, so a little browse round. There's guys in the back, a few extra details. Paint the tops of fire extinguishers. The decals came from Black Square. You get the, you get the front one. If I can get around here, you can get the front one, La France, American La France, on there. Two side ones and two door badges. You see my attempt at lifting that up and down. I will get another turntable, and I think that's the way to go. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good laugh at this one. We don't always win every time. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Okay then. Have fun, enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you next week with something a lot easier. Bye for now.